everybody, welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, we're going to look at how to assign multiple functions on a single button in Access. Uh, now, in this particular um, program I've got set up here, I want to put a button on my main page that will perform two functions. I have an SQL command written to update my finished goods. And of course, when I select that update, it will automatically create a table for me with all the uh, updated quantities. But I've also created a report down here for my finished goods. Okay, that will track everything, the description, the job order number, and some of the cost and retail details. So what I'd like to be able to do is I'd like to have one button that will perform two functions. It will update the table and it will also at the same time produce the report as well. So um, to add a button, first of all, what we need to do when we're on our form is go to design view. Once we're in design view, you'll see we're at design here. Uh, at the top and the fourth item over from the left, you'll see this little rectangular box with the four X's. When you hover your uh, mouse over it, it says button. Um, now, one thing I want to point out to you, if this happens, if you happen to come across this, when you select that button and you go down and let's say we just want to draw it here. If you draw your button and you release the mouse and you don't get the command wizard pop up, that means it hasn't been activated yet. So I'm going to show you how to do that quickly in case that doesn't pop up for you. Oops. Uh, first thing I'm going to want to do is delete that button I just put in there and go back to design view. Now, what I want to do is I want to go over here to this bottom right arrow where it says more, select that. And this second item down here where it says use control wizards, we want to select that. Okay, we want to make sure that that's highlighted. So now what will happen, I'll go back, grab my button, draw it on here. And now you should see the command wizard button open. Now, the first thing that I want the button to do is I want it to run my query. I want it to run my update uh, finished goods query. I'll go down here to miscellaneous and, and the categories. And over on the action section, I'm going to select run query and select next. Now it's asking me which query do you want to run? Well, I want to run update finish goods, or there could be any query that you're running. Select next. And I don't want a picture, I want a text here. And this will, um, so that I can put a description right on the button so that the end user that's using the program knows exactly what it is for. So that'll be update finished goods. All right, select next. And we're gonna to wanna to give it a name, but you wanna give it a meaningful name because as you start to build out your program and you start to use your expression builder and looking at all the available items, as you're looking at a list, you wanna be able to differentiate between the different items that you've created. So I'm just gonna call this update FG button. So I will know what that is. Select finish, there we go. Now, I'm just gonna format this a little bit because I just wanna adjust the color on it to match my other buttons. So I'm gonna select my blue and my font color. There we go, I wanna bold. Okay, I'm gonna save and go back to home and switch back to form view. Now, we have just assigned one function to this button. So when I hit update finished goods, you're gonna see the, uh, the pop-ups come up telling me that it's about to delete the original finished goods table and replace it with new information. So yeah, you're able to run the uh, make table query, yes. We need to remove the existing one before we replace it with an update, yes. That's fine too, and I'm about to paste these rows, yes. Okay. So it's ran that query, but that's all that it's done. So that's not very helpful to an end user. We want to we want to hit the button once. We want it to update that query, and after it's done updating the query and the new table, we want it to produce a report for us all in the same time. So we'll go back to Design View again. Okay, make sure that our button is highlighted. Now, what we're going to need to do here, guys, is we need to go over to right over here to where it says property sheet. 
So again, you're on the design view at the top, you're on this tab, and you'll look over and we want to select property sheet. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we wanna go over here to the tab that says event. Okay, and then when we select event, you can see the first item, it says on click. And you can see it says embedded, don't touch that. But what we wanna do here is the three little dots in this little box on the right hand corner, we wanna select that. And now we're looking at what's going on with the button. And we can see uh, the command that we've uh, placed on the button is to open a query. And the query name was update finished goods and view and data sheet. So it's, that's the first function that we've performed. Now we wanna add a new action and you can see that right below here. And there are just many, many things that you can add uh, uh, as a function on your button. So let's hit the drop down menu. And the one that we're looking for here, it's gonna be an action called open report. So I'm gonna go down, there's open form. Here it is, open report. So I'm gonna select open report. And it wants the report name. Now, if you remember the name of your report, you can just type it in, or you can just select the drop down arrow here over on the right. And any report that you've created in your uh, system so far would show up here. And what we want to do is we want to activate the finished goods report. So I'll select that. And now that I've selected that, we're going to select save. Okay, and then we're going to close. We're going to save again. And then we're going to go back to form view. And we're going to test this out. So if everything is working correctly, when we select the update finish goods button, it should run the query to update the table and simultaneously immediately following that produce our report. So let's give that a try. Yep, we have the same commands here. And there we go, our report showed up. So this allows the user to create multiple functions with a single button. Very, very useful and super to easy, uh, easy to use uh, tool within Microsoft Access. So I hope you all found that help, excuse me, helpful, and we will see you on the next video. Bye for now.